You're trying to take the standards of Asia and put them in a in Hollywood, but Hollywood doesn't care about those. But we got to be honest. For the past week, the internet has been arguing and debating about a man named Simu Liu. Let's talk about why. Oh man, this went a lot more viral in a couple Asian circles on the internet than I ever would have anticipated. Originally, Andrew, long story short, HuffPo wrote a op-ed piece. You know, you could argue low-key dissing Simu being yeah. like, yeah, he's great, but here's seven other Asian leading men that might deserve some of the movies that he's taking up. And then of course, he clapped back on Facebook. This turned into a thing, Andrew, then it went to Twitter, then it went to TikTok, then it went to Reddit, then back to IG. And now there are 10 threads on Reddit arguing, do you like Simu Liu or not? Even though literally nothing happened. Yeah, well, guys, we're going to talk about it. So please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we break down this Asian American entertainment drama. All right, guys. I mean, to put it plainly, first of all, Simu is the leading Asian man in America right now, especially of his age group. We do have some seasoned actors. We know them, but they're of a different generation. 40, 50, 60, 70 years yeah. old, to be honest. I really would say Simu and Steven Yun are pretty much it, but... You know, since Simu was in the blockbuster Marvel movies and he's kind of also in some other blockbuster movies, he's under a lot of scrutiny right now. Not only that, but it is true, Simu does respond to a lot of haters on the internet. He's been doing this for years. It's something that is part of his life and he chooses to do. And I think this is what a lot of people are debating about. They're like, I find it kind of annoying. And then some other people are like, I don't know, I support Simu. He's speaking up. He's living his life. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I mean, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications from silly to serious, Andrew. Everything you describe to me right now, it sounds silly. However, there might be some serious implications for like how the Asian American community treats these people who are pioneers, right? Yeah. Whether it's Jeremy Lin, whether it was Jin signing the Rough Riders. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the first of anything that is getting opportunities they're under like crazy scrutiny that yeah. sometimes is ridiculous, even though there might be some valid points made. And not to it mention well. that Simu speaks his mind as well. And we know this, but I will say this before we continue into the, the internet comments, before we read them and analyze them and give them our time of the day. I do think that in a way, Simu's haters should be a little bit more grateful for the attention that Simu gives them because a lot of other people even just, I mean, even just regular influencers just, just don't respond to that many negative critical comments about them. No, that's like, true. They really don't. I mean, low key, it probably makes their day. Yeah. We got to keep it real. I mean, literally, but, but that's I like will somebody say, significant that they're dissing, responding back I, to I, Also, it must energize Simu to a, a certain point, too, because he, he has the energy to do it. So shout out to him. And but they anyway, both popping off, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They like... He, he's there for the engagement, man. I'll give you, I'll give Simu that. He's there for the engagement. David, what's the first comment? The first comment comes from a Simu hater, Andrew. Mm. It says, dude gets one role in a terrible Marvel movie and thinks he's made it. I'm so sick of listening to what he has to say about everything. This guy's got a hot take about everything. He's offended about everything. Everybody does him wrong. Sick of it. You know what's so funny? I don't know what part of the community this guy is from. But I think so oftentimes we had so many Hollywood Asian stars of the past that weren't outspoken. They weren't accessible. They weren't engaged. And we and we were like, oh, we didn't like it. Oh, they don't care about the community. Clearly, Simu, he is with the community. He mm. really does care. So now, you know, it's just a matter of like this person being Asian and Simu kind of being the biggest Asian name out there. You feeling like you have to only talk about other Asians because you're Asian. and only a Asians only attack Asians yeah, and try and to bring Asians down other Asians, man. Exactly. And honestly, you got to get like, regardless of whether you agree or disagree with his methodology, the fact that Simu's taking up space and he feels like he's willing to call out the injustices and take up the space that he desires is actually breaking stereotypes because Asians usually play themselves small in an attempt to preserve their career and avoid negative criticism or opening windows for criticism it is the same thing as when an asian restaurant kind of opens up and it's like a little bit modern and hipsterized and a little bit more expensive Higher price right and now. trying to do something a little bit more elevated the the word the harshest criticism is from other asian people who are like oh my mom could make this better oh my mom, Yo, honestly had this better. that makes me mad when i see asians leave one star reviews on people who do really mean well because they have no idea how much of someone's life and heart and soul. I get it. They don't get it. But if once you see it on the back, you know, more behind the watch face, you'll understand. It's Mo the internet, man. Yeah, man. People live in their lives and they're... I'm not saying everybody on the internet all day long lives in their mom's basement, but I'm just saying probably more so. Um, Somebody said, uh, you know, the truth is it comes down to Simu's looks. People have really been mad 
and bitter about how he looks since the beginning because he doesn't fit traditional Asian or traditional Chinese specifically beauty standards. Because in Asia, Andrew, to become a star in movies specifically in 2023, it's a very stringent look. Like literally, you could make like 10 videos about this that are hour long yeah. each inter. 1.4 yeah, yeah. billion people, yes. they yes. got one look standard. You know what's really interesting? I think when Simu, who's buff and six feet tall, walks into offices in Hollywood, people see him and respect him as a handsome, good-looking, strong, masculine man. Right. But it's funny because if you take the super Asian media from Asia, from East Asia, those standards of beauty, and then you compare him to the pop stars and the K-drama guys and the C-pop stars out there who have, you know, the more flower boy look, very soft. Elfin. Elf, elfish look that are very pretty. They're pretty guys. Right. The Final Fantasy characters. That then, oh, Simu doesn't match up to the East Asian yeah. standards of beauty from East Asia. And, and, but I'm telling you, you're trying to take the standards of Asia and put them in a, in Hollywood, but Hollywood doesn't care about those. But we got to be honest, Andrew, uh, and we can get into some minutiae here, but I don't want to get off track. It's particularly China. Because in China, they really don't value that, like, kickboxer, blue-collar look at all. Like, um, even, in, at least in South Korea, they got physical 100 now, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure, sure. I yeah. mean, long story short, guys, if you really want a breakdown of yeah. how Simu looks, Simu looks like a guy from Dongbei who's, like, maybe part Manchu, and he just basically looks like Wu Jing mixed with young Jeremy Renner, mm. young Mark Wahlberg, young Val Kilmer, young Kurt Russell. Hey, these guys are all huge stars still. But his personality, when he tweets Andrew in his comedy, is more like Ryan Reynolds. Mm, yeah. And I think that that maybe, I don't know if that's like maybe weird for people because you're like, this guy looks like a kickboxer, but then he's tweeting like Ryan no. Reynolds. I mean, a best, basically to put it in short, a lot of people on the internet are basically saying comments like, well, dude, you know, Hollywood only picked him because they don't want to pick the most beautiful Asian man. So they picked the only okay looking Asian man to represent all Asian right. men. And you know what they try to say? Well, his features are very common to find because the look standards are you have to have genetically rare features in Asians right now to be an actor. Like, you know, to be an actor in China, you have to be born naturally with very big round eyes. I never really... I. Yet what they're saying, I never really liked this argument because I was like, Simu's very talented. He can sing, he can do backflips. Like, likes for to example, dance. you could argue in an Asian sense, Ludi Lin is considered much more fit to that elfin Final Fantasy look than Simu is. But obviously, who does, they, do they want to run like an American franchise around? Guys, I don't, I, I think for the betterment of Asian men, it's actually not bad to have like regular looking Asian dudes out there. That's actually what you want. You want regular faced Asian guys to be famous and respected. That's going to help us the most actually. So you got to take yourself out of these like crazy wild standards because regular people don't look like that. Well, not everybody and shout out to Jackson Wang is going to look like Jackson Wang. Okay. Uh, there's only one Jackson Wang. Somebody said, you know, it really has to do with Simu's tweeting. He tries too hard and he just writes too much stuff and he's just way too active on social media. That's what I don't like about him. I was seeing his post pop up. Listen, at the end of the day, he is the only super duper pro Asian young star in 2023, Andrew. He drinks boba. Yeah. He grew up playing in church leagues, Asian basketball leagues. Yeah. Like this guy does acoustic cover songs. He sings. He he's just a regular dude. He's dude, just an Asian dude, just like he, us, you know? He's he's he was also spent I mean, he spent time already. He's an internet guy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he's a, like, and I think that's part of it why a lot of like people on the forums like kind of are extra critical because in a way he's sort of partially one of them. Yeah. I'm not saying, obviously he does a whole bunch of other stuff. He's trained himself. He's believed in himself so much. Um, he's very talented, but yes, like there is a side of him that people identify with. And that's why they're like, wait, why are you up there? If you're supposed to be down here with us. Yeah. No, they're like, it's almost like somebody who like outgrew their tribe. It's almost like John Wick, Andrew. You know how like the the Roma Ruska, which is his Belarusian tribe, yeah. they almost like beef with them because they're like, John Wick, you left the Roma Ruska. Simu is John Wick. Uh, um, somebody said, no, it has more to do with his pros men's rights posts on Reddit and his annoying subtle Asian traits Facebook group posts. Uh, I don't know. I mean, to this day, Simu has not done anything bad, man. Like, he really hasn't. Like, I, I get it if maybe you don't want to read everything he's written or whatever. I guess I can see that, but I'm like, 
He hasn't done anything bad. Honestly, he literally has not done anything dude, bad. His opinions are actually pretty tame. If you actually meet people who have really lived crazy lives, and let's just say they're all tattooed up and they're not formally educated, or maybe they've been in jail, I'm telling you, you will hear. I don't know if this, what Simu writes makes your head explode. Bro. Don't go outside ever to yeah, anywhere. Don't talk to anybody in any big city yeah. ever. <laughs> Um, somebody said, I don't like him because he plays into inter-Asian stereotypes. When he finally got his movie poster, his mom was still disappointed he didn't, didn't become a doctor. Way to elevate the conversation and deviate against stereotypes. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was a joke. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Somebody said, listen, guys, why are we trying to tear down the little tree that we have that is Asian representation? Why are we so short-sighted? We're going to chop down all the trees, and now the Asian world's going to have nothing. Yeah, this goes back to why Asians are so depressed, and they're never happy. They're never satisfied. And, uh, yeah, I just think Asians are super hypercritical of their celebrities. You know, and it is true because, like, a lot of K-pop fans are super critical of K-pop stars. Like, they love you, they build you up, but if you do something that they don't identify with, they could try to tear you down. Yeah. I mean, I think that this is the nature of the internet and yeah. being identified deeply with other, like, fellow people. Yeah, I mean, it's internet. also having just fervent fans, you know? Um, oh. Andrew, let's get into our takeaways, man. Do Asian fans literally just project what their parents projected onto them onto, like, these people who get put on a pedestal. Yeah, for sure, man. Like, oh, they have to be perfect. Or Simu did this, I didn't like. Or Simu wrote this, I didn't like. Oh, he did this, I liked it. Oh, I thought he did well here. I thought he did well here. I didn't like it here. It's like, dude, I, I yeah, I mean, it is true. Simu is probably the most accessible, engaged, maybe like, I guess, for sure, Marvel superhero out there. 100%, he's the most engaged with his fans. And that's also why a lot of people love him. So a lot, why the reason that a lot of people love him and connect with him and relate to him is because he's personable. But I think that some people don't like it because he's like too personable. That's a good point. I guess. And I guess is that why professional Hollywood PR teams just tell people uh, just disengage, be above your audience, don't engage with them. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's a very like uh, maybe if Asians want to see them do that that's like buying into the old like kind of asian hierarchy right where like oh no like this person's above me oh uh, uh, see me senpai what is it notice me senpai notice me senpai like i like they want to they want to live like that maybe you know yeah no sometimes some people even though they would never vocalize it andrew they want to be like compartmentalize and have their stars be untouchable and so yeah. great and fantastical and TMZ. Yeah. And I'll be honest, like uh, another one of my takeaways is that if any other Asian actors opened up their mouth and spoke and wrote as much as Simu did, I 100% am sure that you would see a lot of flaws in these people too. So shout out to Simu. I got to say, I got to give Simu a lot of credit. He has the stamina to read all this criticism take some time to respond to the criticism and then still be happy and live his life and do work and be in movies and act. And, yeah, that's a good and point. work his career. And he actually responds to it like it's legitimate. Like somebody who's 19, who has never worked a job and never really seen, obviously, let alone diverse, but any reps in life try to bring him down. Like I actually think that people are going to miss this if Simo ever stops doing this because he is giving you thoughtful responses to your hate. <laughs> so, just, he has the energy to. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I'll say this. If I was a superstar on Simu's level, <laughs> I would pay negative attention to everybody. I would be so disengaged. I, you could not get a single response uh, out of me. You'd still be a nice person in person. Simu is a very kind and nice and polite person in person. So, think about it. He's got to read all your garbage, respond to it, Go perform and then still say, hi, shake your hand and, and take a picture with you in person. Yeah, honestly, guys, I've been in the game a long time. I've met some of the people so high up in the hierarchy that you cannot believe. I'll tell you this, Simu is incredibly grounded. He is a regular yeah. person. And just like a regular person, you might not like all of his opinions because he lets you know all of his opinions. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe you don't like all of his opinions. Maybe you don't like seeing his posts all the time. But guess what? You could take a lesson from him on his emotional and mental stability to handle all this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> all right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below. Do you support Simu always speaking out and clapping back at haters? Do you wish he would do it less? Are you like, hey, man, if that's his life, 
I support him. Uh, and I think that he's a good representation. Leave it in the comments. You gotta support real small businesses, businesses of all sizes. I like it. I might need some boba after this.